Okay, everyone, what I'm doing here, I'm going to start by showing you how I make my seafood water. This is going to be seafood done three ways, okay? Uh, before the cameras start running, I cut up my yellow bell pepper. Um, what I do, I just cut it in half. I just use half of it, but I cut that half into fours. You'll see how I do it here with the red pepper. The video is sped up and I'm just talking over it because it would be a long video. So it's already 12 minutes long, 13 minutes long. So I do that with a red pepper, a yellow pepper, and an orange pepper. Cut it all the same way. You can cut it again if you want. You can cut the pieces however you want to because you're not really going to eat it anyway. You know, um, you know this, this is just to flavor the water. So there's no right and wrong way to... As you see, I just cut the... Um, lemons and the limes into quarters and then I cut the quarters into another half across ways basically cut the lemon and limes into eighths um, there's a jalapeno I cut that into quarters and then into halves so into eighths also in there but like I said how you cut it makes no difference at all I just throw everything in, seeds, everything. I just throw it all in because, you know, a lot of flavor is in the seeds. Okay. The garlic bulb, garlic head, whatever you want to call it. Take the whole thing. I just take off that little top part, but everything else goes in. Whatever makes it in, makes it in. Orange. I even do it with the orange, okay? Um... Citrus puts a lot of flavor into your seafood water. So, I do a whole orange. Okay, this onion I have is pretty big. So, what I only use a quarter of the onion. You know, take that, throw it all in there. You know, I break it down, but you don't really even have to do that because you throw that whole thing in there, it's going to fall apart in that water. But I just did it so I could stir it apart. Okay. Now, that's what it looks like once I got everything in there. It's just a rainbow of mixtures. Then I take all my seasonings, put in there. You know what you like for your seasonings. I put in um, some Obey, some cayenne pepper, some... Um, Cajun seasoning, some, well, some other Cajun seasoning, some cumin, and some red pepper flakes is what I put in. But you know what you like, you know, like Tony's seafood stuff, stuff like that, that's great for it. I didn't use it, but that's good for it. Okay, now I take my... I cook straight in that pan, you know. I like it like this because when I get done, I can just throw the whole thing away. I don't have to worry about any kind of dishes, anything like that. I just toss it. You know, people say, hey, those pans are expensive. You know, those 2 $3 pans. You know, a 2 $3 pan is not anything when you have $150 worth of seafood. So what are you complaining about a 2 or $3 pan for? Okay, so... Do that, got that on there. I bring that to a boil. I let that sit because I want it to boil and boil and boil. I want everything in there to render all the way down. And I forgot a cayenne pepper. So I took two cayenne peppers and sliced them up in there. I like mine kind of spicy. Uh, everything I said put in is not. But you know, if you use seafood, um, Seafood boil, it's spicy, so you're going to have to have some spice in there. Okay, now this is like the stuff I'm putting in to actually eat. Okay, there's parsley. That's more, you know, that's more flavoring or whatever. Uh, but I had some andouille sausage. Okay, now, you see, it's at a rolling boil. 
get that stirred up. You want them flavors to mix real good. Right there is a can of Bud Light Seltzer, the pineapple flavor. This is the first time I tried that. I just saw it in my refrigerator. I don't, I have it in there. Don't drink it. So I decided, hey, why not? That might put another layer to the flavoring. Took that and I stirred it all up in there all together. Now I'm placing in three eggs. I wish I would have placed this camera better because now I'm noticing I'm not catching the whole pan, but you're seeing the idea. Okay, I have a couple of live lobsters. Okay, they say there's a humane way to kill them. You take them and you stab them in the back of the head, and that kills them. But, you know, I I just took them and threw them in. Threw the lobsters in first because they have to cook longer because they are 100% raw. Well, they're live, matter of fact, so they have to cook longer. I threw in my crab legs in the back there. I got some crawfish. There's my shrimp. I put my sausage in, threw in a couple of extra crab legs I left behind, and then dumped some mussels right on top. Now I cover it in some aluminum foil. Got to get some steam going to cook everything well. Get that steam going. As you see, it's now coming out. This video is sped up like eight times, so it's cooking a lot faster. You know, I had to speed it up because didn't want y'all sitting there have to watch this long video. It's already 13 minutes long. Okay, now what I'm doing is my fried part. I'm taking some more crab legs, taking the meat out. Um, yeah, still taking out the meat of crab. You can use, it's better to use king crab because the chunks come out nice and bigger and all that, but hell, I wasn't trying to pay for no king crab. I don't usually eat king crab. It's way too expensive. Okay, those are frog legs. Take my frog legs out. Okay, got me a mixing bowl. Crack three eggs into the mixing bowl. Whip it up real good. Get some heavy whipping cream. Take a little heavy whipping cream, pour it in there, and keep keep on whipping. Now I got a bag that I put some um, cornmeal in. A freezer bag. Put some cornmeal in a freezer bag. Seasoned up my... Seasoned up my frog legs with some Everglades fish and chicken. Um, put it in, put the frog legs into the egg, and then took it out of there and put it into the bag of cornmeal, and took it from there and throw it into the frying pan. I got the video sped up a little too fast because it's going before my words, but you're, you're I'm sure you're seeing what I'm talking about. Let it fry till it's a nice golden brown. I got another pan. I lined it with uh, paper towels. Okay, that's the crab. It'll be the same thing. I put it in the egg batter, pulled it out, but instead of cornmeal, I used regular flour. Now you just have to put a uh, look at the color. You got to know you got to remember that the crab was already cooked when you bought it. So you're not worried about getting the crab done. You're just worried about getting the flour on the outside done. So that's it for that. Okay, did some hush puppies. Jalapeno hush puppies. You go over there, got some squid, aka calamari. 
I had three pieces, but I realized I didn't need all that. So I got to put the other two aside. I have two soft shell crabs. Took those. Do it the same way. Into the egg batter. Into the flour. You can use flour or cornmeal. I use flour for those. Into the frying. Into the grease, I mean. Let it cook. Soft shell crab, you know, it's a exactly that. Crab with a soft shell, you can eat the whole thing. You can throw it on a sandwich. You can, but however you want to. You eat shell and all. It all, you just bite into it. I'm going to make some soft shell crab po' boys. They are good, though. There I'm throwing my calamari in. I was going to do some fried shrimp, but I didn't because I was already just, I'm already doing way too much. And this is already like a couple days of leftovers for me. You know, you can't keep seafood too long. So it's probably going to be a day leftover and the rest going in trash. And now I'm doing my raw setup. I already have some. Tuna, I mean not tuna, but I have some salmon back there in my in my pan. I had some tuna and I lost it. I think when I was getting my groceries out of the bag, I was taking some of the empty bags, throwing them in the trash, and I think I left my tuna in one of the bags and threw it in the trash. Okay. That's my old, my, my new tool. I well I've had it for a while, never got a chance to use it, but that's my oyster shucker. It makes shucking oysters a whole lot easier. And so I got these oysters I'm shucking. And this will be the last thing in my three-way seafood feast. So. And I'm thank y'all for watching.